here tonight? New things, new things are spoiling your hand. Are you here tonight? Your feet can be called unlucky feet, evil feet. You enter into a place and things begin to go upside down. That, that lady that was employed into the restaurant, right from the day they employed her, all the food used to go bad unless she did not touch the food. Are you here tonight? For some strange reasons, you lose your important documents. You are fighting unnecessary battles. You are becoming a victim and not a victor. You are becoming a scapegoat, not a winner. There is a spirit to confront. You can strike out with all the power God has given to you tonight and defeat this spirit once and for all. We have prayers to pray here tonight. But then, the first thing is that you need to surrender to Jesus. You need to repent from every known sin. Then, you need to be determined and to have holy hatred at your present position. Hate that present position with perfect hatred. And then do your prayer warfare. The Bible says, as from the days of John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent took it by force. If we were at Palm of St. John several months back, and I was talking about the battle between the circumcised and the uncircumcised, it is a strange phenomenon. If the circumcised allows the uncircumcised to waste him or her, just like Cain wasted Abel, just like they just cut off the head of John the Baptist like that, because they kept quiet. To keep quiet is a disaster, it's a tragedy. Rise up on your feet now, and all eyes closed. Rise up on your feet, all eyes closed. In case you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. But start do so very quickly by raising up your right hand where you are and say what I'm going to say now. Father. Say, Father, the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. To say that short prayer with me, immediately we close find a way to the altar here and we'll be we'll pray more with you and give you more instructions I want you to understand that the power of God is here and at this meeting was specifically summoned by the Holy Ghost so don't joke with it at all don't joke with it at all don't joke with it at all a single transaction can move you from poverty to prosperity forever. But a single omission at the same time can keep you stagnant all your life. We had a woman coming to Mountain of Fire. She used to sell rice in my former school. My former primary school used to be the largest primary school in Nigeria. I don't know whether it is still the largest primary school. It was so large. We had primary 1V. That is class Primary 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F, 1V. Amen. So during break, plenty of food sellers come and they will display. This person noticed that the children when they come, it's as if they did not see where she is. They just go to the other 13 people. There are 14 of them. Just go to the other 13 people. She will cook rice and bring the rice home unsold. So every day she was feeding her children on the leftover rice. The children were saying, Mommy, why is it rice, rice, rice every day? Then she came to a meeting like this many years back. And we pray some of the kind of prayers we pray them. We're going to pray today. I told you that the spirit of bad luck is a coward. She prayed that prayer. And when she got to the place next day, something happened. All the children, they just killed at her front like this. They refused to go to the other 13 people. It was very embarrassing. She was serving rice. Her hand was paining her. And he was telling them, go to Mama Soson. He said, no, it's you. And it, that pattern continued. Until she had finished selling, nobody said, I'm praying for somebody here. The strong man of bad luck. Assigned against your destiny. She will be buried alive today. In the name of Jesus. A seven fold amen. Get yourself ready now. You can see that we're not here to play. This is not a joking matter. 
Some of us have suffered for too long. Agents of darkness have bewitched them. A man was going to England for PhD. And the family gathered together to wish him well. And the whole family, they were praying for him. They were praying for him. When he got to the maternal grandmother, that one said, bring your hand. And he stretched the hand towards his mama. Mama did what? He spat saliva onto his hand. Say, rub it, rub it, rub it in your hand. Foolishly, he rubbed it. So now, you used to rub your head. He rubbed his head. Say, that is my own prayer for you. He got to England and ran mad immediately. They brought him home. No PhD. All those agents of bad luck, you must deal with them. All eyes closed. Can you shout this loud and clear? Strong man of bad luck troubling my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. This is not a night to negotiate. We are here for serious business. Serious business. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't negotiate. Open your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. The power, the power, the apostle power. Just the same today, no matter what they say. The power, the power, the apostle power is just the same today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Papalikata, Riboka Pondakea. Nakandara Boshenta, the Katera Koyaboko Shenta Raba, Manakamponda Karabo Santa, the Ribo Soponda Kayabo Shenta Raba. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. You can't continue like this. You must make a difference in your generation and you must possess your possession aha aha I withdraw my name from the book of bad luck by the power in the blood of Jesus Open your mouth and declare that. Like that. Yes. We draw your name from that book. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Now the three major prayers of tonight. If you pray this one's well, you will rejoice. Three major prayer points of tonight. So we want to start now. The one we pray was just to warm up. Just to warm up. Can you shout this with a commanding tone? Bad luck power. Pursuing my life. 
fire in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Uh, uh, Doors are opening now. I'm happy. That's good. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Why stamping your feet on the floor? Because the Bible says He has given you power To tread upon serpent and scorpion And over every power of the enemy Serpents and scorpion Of bad luck I trample upon you now In the name of Jesus Trample upon the serpent and scorpion In the name of Jesus Trample upon this now In the name of Jesus Trample upon it now. In the name of Jesus. Crush it. Crush it. Crush it. In Jesus name we pray. Aha. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Say this again loud and clear. This is number three. Owners of bad luck. My life is not your candidate. Carry your Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus command them to carry their load. Enough is enough. Now, it is time for you to exhibit the kind of praises that will put a seal on the prayers you have prayed. Oh, that man, we praise the Lord. Oh, that man, we praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the children of men, to the children of men. For his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the children of men, to the children of he has broken the gates of brass. And caused the pass of iron his son. He has broken the gates of brass. And caused the pass of iron his son. Yeah.
Amen. Bring your leg out of your right shoe now. And lift the right shoe up like this. And close your eyes. Say, my father. I come to you today. Your word tells me that wherever the source of my feet shall tread, you shall possess it for me. I lift up my shoe as a symbol that beginning from today, dominion power enter into my life in the name of Jesus. It is written that you have given me power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me you have given me power to tread upon serpents serpents scorpions and every power of the enemy including bad luck as from today I trample upon forever every power of bad luck in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus seven fold amen Put your shoe back into your leg. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That symbolic action you have taken now has created chaos in the camp of the enemy. Maseka pola karabo sande. Daribo sepende keya bo shendera ba. Aha. You will now shout this loud and clear. The Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. For it is written, Cause everyone that thanks upon the tree so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. Father, Father, any curse under which anyone here labors, as they raise up their voices now, let the curses be converted to blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say any curse laboring my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Jesus, them we pray. Thus hear the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy of our Lord, all the days of the Lord, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.